What's up, Radical Squad? DJ here, back bringing you guys on another commentary today. Today, what I have for you guys is a solo triple. That's right, I said triple DNA bomb uh, from Morgasm. As you guys know, he's a straight beast. Uh, the map is Retreat, and the game mode is Uplink. And he's going to be using the BAL 27. Very good gun, uh, the BAL 27 is. Uh, so, just. Basically, this game play about 27 triple DNA, but you guys might see that there's one guy holding the ball all game. But this was solo by Warcasm. The guy just randomly joined in the game. He wasn't in Warcasm's party. Uh, like you guys would be able to tell from like the scoreboard and such if he was in Warcasm's party, but he was not. So this is just an outstanding gameplay by Warcasm. Hats off to you, Warcasm. Be sure to smash that like button if you guys want to see more gameplays from Morchasm. And yeah, so today's commentary topic is going to be how I set up my commentaries. So how I set up my commentaries is I use Notepad since I'm on a Windows computer, but you can use Notes if you're on a Mac or Microsoft Word. Uh, if you're on either computer or any type of thing where you can just type out your idea and such and then type out like little bullets or you don't even have to do it on your computer you can just literally do it on like a little index card which some people do that uh, but don't ever try and script your commentary if you just script it it's gonna sound so boring you want to be enthusiastic with it like I am right now like my notepad just says my ideas like I just went off of use notepad note Microsoft Word etc and I just said all that, and that's how I just build off of the topics that I talk about. Number two is that you should, you don't have to do this, but you should listen to music. Get, listening to music generally gives myself and a lot of other people more ideas in the terms of finding commentary topics. So it's just a better idea of how you can listen to music, and it just runs thoughts through your brain and it just makes it really fun you can have fun like dancing to the music or whatever and like being energetic in your commentary and having just fun with uh, the viewers and just make sure that you're always entertaining them first more than yourself because those are the people who are watching the video you're not going to be watching the video 24 7. third is that you should have fun with it what i mean by have fun with it is that if you have fun with your commentary, oh my god, my voice is cracked there. If you have fun with your commentary, uh, it's just the viewers are gonna love it, and you're gonna be so excited. You won't have a care in the world. You'll just be talking and talking, and rambling on, and you'll have so much fun with it. The viewers will be laughing, and it's just gonna be a grand old time for the viewers just to watch you having fun. And if you want. You can add in like a face cam or whatever and it's just gonna be really fun to have all that surrounding you and the viewers just watching and constantly laughing and then saying in the comments great video or they like the video or things like that or sharing it with their friends and family uh, that's just the best part of being a youtube commentator so the fourth and final step is have I not have fun. I already said that one. Pretend you're by yourself with no one watching. When you're making commentary, you're really with yourself with no one watching. Uh, except for when you post it, the viewers are watching. So if you just pretend like you have no one watching this video, it's just like a home video that you're going to use for the future. And it's going to be just an entertaining video to have with your family and friends. Just to have fun with it and it'll make it like look cool and everything. But then once you post it on YouTube, it won't seem as awkward if you're uh, just pretending you're talking to the viewers and you don't like speaking in public. Like, it just helps a lot just to pretend you're by yourself and you're not talking to anyone else but yourself. And then once the YouTube video goes up, you can see how much the viewers like it because you're not sounding that awkward and it's just a fun overall time for them. One more step I forgot is that you have to have everything up when you're recording your commentary. You have to have your audio recording software up, you have to have your notes up, and then you have to have like, right now I'm checking on, I'm looking at Skype with Workasm. Uh, Skype is in the description below. 
I'm looking at Skype and I'm reading the uh, commentary topic. Not the commentary topic, because this is my own topic. But I'm looking at like what the gameplay is, who the commentator is, which is obviously myself, uh, the name of the gameplay, which is Solar Triple DNA Bomb. Make sure again you guys smack that like button for his gameplay. With the Battle 27 player is Warcasm, I did say that before, on Retreat Uplink, and then uh, when it says more on the commentary topics, it says mention that uh, like people might see that the one player is holding the ball the entire time but he wasn't in Warcasm's party or anything he just randomly joined the game and decided to help me but we can call it solo because it was a random join and if he was on the opponent's team then it couldn't even be uploaded of course so I mean that's basically like what you need to have up and if there's more go ahead certainly put up more on your screen the more the better you'll have like Sometimes if I'm commentating on a topic, like FIFA World Cup, I'll have like Skype up, I'll have uh, Notepad up, I'll have Safari, or not Safari, Google Chrome up, excuse me. And it's just a lot easier so you can speak fluently. Because as you guys heard, I clicked off there to like scroll down on Skype. But you don't want to be constantly just clicking and clicking because then the viewers aren't going to enjoy that. Like, that's just common sense that viewers are going to not like just the constant clicking noise from you. So anyway guys, if you did enjoy this commentary, don't forget to leave a like down below, comment, your ratings are very appreciated, favorite the video also, share it with friends and family, make sure to smack the like button for Workasm getting another beast gameplay for you guys. This is a triple DNA bomb, so this is just outstanding, so great job Workasm, and I'll see you guys in the next commentary, Radical Squad. Peace.